Welcome to New Life SDA Church. This is Adventurous Club. Sunday class. I'm Teacher Malawa. Your name? Brelio Malawa. And Anne Malawa. Welcome for lesson six. And now before we move, we proceed, we want to ask Adventurer Brady to open the word of prayer. Let's pray. Thank Lord for this day I've given unto us. Bless us as we start our lesson in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now, fellow adventurers from wherever you are watching us from, we are on lesson six, Sunbeam class, and we want to start with the basics. Uh, Brady will start us off with the pledge, law, and song. Brady? Because? Because Jesus loves me, I will always do my best. Adventurous uh, law? Jesus can help me to be, be obedient, be pure, be true, be kind, be respectful, be attentive, be helpful, be cheerful, be thoughtful, be reverent. Well done, Brady. Adventurous song? We are adventurous. I don't much could not play. We are adventurous. We are adding every day to be honest, kind of to, to be like Jesus through and through. We are adventurous. Well done, Brady. Brady? Uh, one of the adventurers' law is being attentive. What does being attentive mean? I will listen to someone when he's talking to me at home, at school, and at church. Especially I'll listen to God to tell me what to do in my life. Amen. Now, Brady will also give us a story of Gethsemane, which comes from the book of Matthew, chapter 26, verse 36 to 46. Welcome, Brady. Then Jesus went to his disciples to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to them, Sit here while I go over there and pray. Then when he came back, he found his disciples asleep. Then he went the second time and prayed. When he came back, he found his disciples asleep. When, then he went again. When he came back, he found his disciples asleep. And which, which is the prayer that Jesus was praying? My Lord, if this cup is possible to be taken away or else I'll drink it. Who are the three disciples who accompanied Jesus to the place where he went to pray? Peter and the two sons of Zebadi. Well, well done, Brady. Mm -hmm. Teacher Josh, kindly uh, tell us, how do the adventurers law being attentive relate to the story that Brady has just given us, the story of Gethsemane? The story of Gethsemane teaches us a lot of things. And one of the aspects that we picked from that is the uh, aspect of being attentive. Being attentive to your teachers, being attentive to your parents, being attentive to when you are being given instructions and also when you are doing something. Remember, Christ took the, the disciples to that particular place to go and pray. And he expected them, as he was going to pray in a secluded area, these disciples were also supposed to be attentive to help him in prayers so the spirit could come down. But what happened? When Christ left, they slept. He came to check on them the first time, he found them sleeping. He went back, he woke them up, went back for the second time. He came back to check on them, he found them sleeping. The third time, he still found them sleeping. It's because they were not attentive. The attention that Christ needed from the disciples was to follow the rules and the regulations. Just as Bradley has already explained to us that we should be attentive, being attentive in what we are doing, being attentive to our teachers, being attentive both in school, at home, and in church. Attention is required even when getting instructions from God. Just the same way Christ expected his disciples to be attentive to his noble cause. Thank you, Teacher Josh. Now, still under basics, we want to go and learn more about birds. We want to know how God cares about birds. Our lesson is captured from the book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 29 to 31, that says that uh, God created birds to take care of themselves. He gave them uh, feathers to make it easy for them to fly and look for food. Remember, birds do not sow, neither do they reap. But he takes care, for, uh, care of them. He made them with feathers for them to migrate easily to look for food and even give them beaks for them to be able to feed. Now, in this section, we want to learn uh, several types of birds. Braley, could you please mention a few types of birds that you know? Pingu penguin. Yes. E eagle. Uh -huh. 
ostrich, mm -hmm. dove, mm -hmm. duck, mm -hmm. hen, mm -hmm. peacock. Yes. Well done, Brady. Remember, uh, uh, Sunbeam class, you're supposed to mention at least 10 types of birds. Then you choose one bird, you draw and color nicely. Brady is going to show us how to color a bird. Wow. So those are the leaves. Boys and girls, once done, you'll go, you are going to have something like this that which you are seeing on your screens. That is the bird that Brady had chosen to color. Well done, Brady. Boys and girls, now we are going to the second section of the lesson that is activity where we are supposed to do activity from our workbook page 3 and page 14. Page 3 looks like this. You're supposed to uh, color the adventurer's law that we are focusing on during this lesson. In this case, being attentive. And also we are also going to do page 14, whereby we are supposed to color a, a, a happy family. Uh, page 14 looks like this. Now Brady is going to color and we are going to show you how you are supposed to do and submit to your teachers. Boys and girls, as you are aware, each and every lesson has five sections. We have the basic requirements, we have the activity, we have the singing activity, and we have the award, then the feedback to the teachers. Now, in this case, we want to move to the next uh, section of the award. In, the, in our case, in our lesson, we are having the Cooking Fun Award. And I'm sure everybody loves cooking. Bra uh, Brady, what do we cook? Food. What type of food do we cook sometimes? Rice. Yes. Gali. Yes. Mm. Vegetables. Well done. Now in this case we want to learn four types of food groups. Brady, could you tell us one of the types of the food groups? Bread and cereals. Yes. Vitamins. Yes, vitamins and vegetables. No, not vitamins, that is vegetables and fruits. Teacher Josh. We can also talk about proteins. And then milk versus dairy. And we are supposed to give an example of each and every f uh, example in each and every food group. For example, can you give us an example of uh, vegetable or fruit? Mm, banana. Yes. Melon. Oh. An example Mom. of protein, Teacher Josh. We have beans. beans. We have fish. We have chicken. The other food group is dairy or milk, whereby we have either fresh milk, skimmed milk, or uh, yogurt. Now, based on all these food groups, we are supposed to get an example of each food group and paste it in a, in a poster and show to the adventurers. Now, in our case, this is what we came up with. For the, for the uh, food group of vegetables and fruits, we have banana. For the example of uh, bread and cereal, we have bread. Example of protein, we have dried beans. And a, an example of dairy, we have milk. So this is exactly what you're supposed to do and submit to your teachers. Somebody may ask, what do vegetables and fruits help us with? Fruits and vegetables give us vitamins. And vitamins are very essential in our bodies because they help us boost our immunity and they protect us against diseases. What does the cereals and bread or grain group help us with, Teacher Josh? They give us energy that we need to do our daily routine or work. Well done. And for each and every food category, we are supposed to give like portions that are recommended per day. For vegetables and uh, fruits, we are supposed to take four or more portions per day. For cereals and uh, bread, we're supposed to take four or more portions per day. For proteins and uh, milk, we're supposed to take two or more uh, portions in a day. Milk and uh, give us calcium, uh, have uh, strong bones. 
And proteins, they help us to body build, making sure that our bodies are strong enough because our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. So we need to take care of our bodies and make sure they are functional to be able to uh, go on with our daily activities. Teacher Josh? Yes, I might only add one aspect that this cooking award is to help us, one, to identify the different classes of foods that we need or our bodies need and how we are supposed to prepare them or the portions that we are supposed to take per meal. Yes. Thank you, Tijia Josh, for that. Now, having known all the, ty of the four types of uh, food groups, we are supposed to come up with a collage. Then the last section of the Cooking Fun Award is that you're supposed to make a complete dinner, a focus dinner that has soup, vegetables, and tree, desserts, and dairy. In this case, we have a complete dinner that has everything that you have just mentioned, like what you are able to see on your screens just now. Now we're on the last section of uh, lesson six, and you're supposed to submit feedback to, your, to our to the class teachers. Now, these are the mandatory things that you're supposed to submit to the teacher. Photo of accomplished task, that is page three and page 14. A video uh, of the adventurer reciting the meaning of being attentive. And any of the three of the following. Make a video of four, make a, fo a photo or a video of five bad sounds. Adventurer singing one of the recommended songs. A picture of a drone or and colored photo of a bird. Adventists recognizing 10 uh, types of birds. Uh, collected pictures of food groups, salad or cookies made by the adventurer. Thank you so much for having us. And we all wish to say goodbye. Bye. Bye.